Hey, welcome to another episode of Emacs Goodies, and today is going to be a bit different than what I normally do, because today we're going to talk about games built into Emacs, and one in particular called Done It, or at least that's how I'm pronouncing it, is pretty interesting. It's a text adventure game, and I don't think I've ever heard anyone or seen everybody talk about it, so that's what I'm going to showcase today. So it's pretty simple. We do Meta X, Startup Emacs, Meta X, Done It and there you go and what we get is a text buffer called dungeon and here we go we start the we start the game so for those of you well if you'd like to get help simply type help because that's what I did <laughs> I was just like I don't know what to do and I typed help and lo and behold I got some help text so it gives you some background information gives you some stuff some info on how to play so Let's see. Yeah, gives you some info. We're not going to go over those, but yeah, this is pretty much how I started using it. How I start, how I start figuring out what to do. So another thing that I can do is I also started looking. I looked at the source code to see what actions I can take. And if you look at one in particular called Dun Burv List, yes, Dun Burv List. These are all. It's a, an association list, I believe. That's what it's called. So th we have die. <clears throat> and E is for north, south is for south, east, west, U is up, down, I, inventory, inventory. So there's a abbreviation. For example, if I type inventory, I get a lamp. If I just type I, it's the same command. It's just shorter for convenience, your lap. So yeah. So you can look at all these verbs and try to figure out which one applies for your current situation in the video game. But this is pretty interesting. Uh, I'll play a little bit just to showcase. So um, how does it how to say you're a dead end? So I'll let I'll let you read it for a couple of seconds. So okay, it says says all this info, and then at the end is there's a shovel. Well then, cool. There's a shovel. How do I do that? Well, is there something over here? This is like take. Yeah, look at that take I'm assuming that's how you do it so I'm gonna do take and then it says you must apply an object so I'm assuming that's a shovel take shovel and look at that it's taken so now if I do inventory it, it says I have a lamp and a shovel which is pretty nice so I can probably use look to look around and it gives me the same info and one says that and one piece of information says the road goes east so I'm like okay so let's go east I can either do east or uh, type it out or just type the letter E. I'll just press the letter E. And there you go. East West Dirt Road. There are more trees. There's a large boulder there. If I try to climb, eh, it looks like I can't do it. So, okay, I'll continue going east. Okay, there's a fork. And the ground here seems very soft. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Maybe I can dig. I think you found something interesting. Now, Here's where I got a little stuck. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> so I just typed in look to see if anything changed. And looks like it repeats the same information. But at the end, you can see that it says there is a CPU card, which is an odd thing to find. So I'll just do take CPU. And it looks like it's taken. And if I just do I for inventory, it looks like I have a computer board now. So that's pretty, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, this is just a short demo on how to play it. Now, there is, uh, so Emacs does have more games, but if you want to keep on playing this, you can. Let me know if you beat it. I did find out that someone made, I guess, a cheat sheet for this game. Somebody actually beat it and then just posted the answers online. That's one way to go about it, if you like. But, of course, what's the fun in that? Try and see if you can beat it by yourself. But, yeah, let me know if you want me to do more games, any other things like this, or just other packages. But, yeah, thanks. That is it.